Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chrissy from Van Onda Company. It's Friday, June 2nd. I'm going to go over the markets with you here for the day and for the week. So uh, not a lot of movement into the corn and the bean market really traded both sides continuously this week. And what you ended up here with was corn up about two and a quarter on the day, but down a penny and a half on the week. Soybeans strongest of the day up nine cents, still closed down five and a quarter lower on the week. Uh, really where you saw the biggest trade in the grain markets was that separation between Minneapolis wheat into the rest to the weeds. So uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, extremely, extremely dry. Talk to a handful of producers. Really, they've been saying if they don't get rain in the next week, you're going to have some serious crop damage. And really, they're not forecasted. And uh, for the next seven days to get precipitation and the eight to 14 day forecast does look below average precip for them as well. So you could be seeing some problems there. And that's evident in the way this market is trading. So uh, Minneapolis wheat up five and a half cents on the day, but on the week up 15 and a half cents while you had Chicago down uh, four or Chicago down eight and three quarters, uh, Kansas City down four and a quarter. So that big separation between those markets on the week. And that's just because they're really concerned about what you're going to see come out of spring wheat. We need that premium protein wheat and that's where it's at. And so you have those problems really starting to acknowledge also just in grains in general that there's pockets of problems, no real areas looking great. Uh, and you really need to get through these. You need weather to turn around. We have some good temperatures now, but you fall back to below average temperatures for the six to 10 and eight to 14 day forecast and some rains come back in and so just not off to a great start and we really need that heat to come back through and help support some things where the western corn belt's been extremely dry and they have heat popping through actually right now um, the biggest issue you can't see these grains really taking off off of this is we are dealing with such a large carryout of old crop corn that we need to get through old crop beans. Brazil has a record crop. We need to get through those really before we can uh, start to really improve price on the hope that we're not going to see as much of a, a crop here next year. Meat markets are where you saw the most activity this week. Uh, live cattle had expanded limits close up 340 on your front month. That is an expanded limit, um, but the deferred is about steady to slightly weaker on the day, up just over eight bucks on the week for live cattle. Feeder cattle up almost 12 bucks on the week big moves there up a buck 65 they did have expanded limits but they did not test them here today and then lean hogs didn't do a whole lot today as they're really at that ceiling of 82 bucks that is really um, causing some uh, resistance to be able to break through that so up 30 cents on the day down 60 cents over on the week also a big market down market up 134 points on the week that does make new all-time highs here today uh, you made some yesterday took those out and made some new ones here today um, and that was supportive crude market down two bucks on the week as well. So what we're going to be watching see what managed money do, does. And then once again, these weather forecasts, huge, huge deal to the market right now. And we'll be watching those to see what happens over the weekend. I do have to close out the disclaimer trading in futures and options involves risk loss and may not be suitable for all producers. Have a great weekend.